So lofts and inventor are a great way of creating objects that require various shapes on different planes to connect geometry together. So check out this example right over here of a faucet tap. You'll see that you have a whole bunch of different circular shapes or ellipses along a path and then eventually what ends up happening is using the loft command everything gets joined together. We're not going to go as complicated as this, instead we're going to actually create a vase similar to this and then make it hollow using a shell afterwards. Okay, so going into Autodesk Inventor, I'm going to go ahead and create a two-dimensional sketch on my horizontal plane. I'm going to create first a circle, and that circle is going to measure six inches in diameter, because again, we're creating a vase. Okay, so here is my six inch diameter circle, and I need to actually have another one above that that's going to be slightly larger. So I'm going to have to work with planes again. So going into my model browser, I'm going to click on the origin, and look for my XZ plane and have that selected. Again, taking my plane button here, I'm going to left click and hold and drag this upwards, hit the check mark, and now I have an additional plane created. So in selecting this plane, I'm going to create a new sketch and put another circle on here, and that circle is going to measure this time eight inches in diameter. Hit the check mark, and you can see how it's starting to come along here. Let's go ahead and add additional couple of planes here to create the look of our vase. So uh, with the plane tool selected, I'm gonna come over here and again, I'm gonna click and drag upwards, hit the check mark, and in doing so, what I'm gonna do is create another sketch on here, and that sketch is gonna go back to six inches. Okay, so you can see all the various levels starting to build here. Okay, let's add an additional plane, right about there, and in this case, I'm going to actually make uh, the top probably the smallest out of all the circles at a 4 inch diameter. Let's finish off the sketch. Now I'm actually ready to go ahead and create my vase. You know what, in fact, let's actually just give us a little bit more geometry. I will add a fifth plane, change my mind here. It's gonna take me no time to do anyways. Okay, and let's make a six. Okay, that should do it. You can see already, if you visualize, how the form is gonna get connected all the way throughout here. Okay, so let's use the loft command and join all of these different shapes. So when I actually do create a loft, what I want to do is actually select the very, very first plane or the very first sketch. I'm going to want to click on that and start going upwards. And let's click on OK and you can see how easily I formed a, uh, a vase with a loft command. I'm not quite done yet. One of the things I can do is I can hide some of these planes and turn off the visibility. That way it doesn't quite drive me crazy to look at. And one more over here. Now, vases are also hollow or they have space inside. So you're going to learn a new command using shell. So with the shell button, what it does is it takes a solid object and makes it hollow. So by me clicking on the shell button right over here, what I plan to do is click on this face right over here. And you can see that all of a sudden I have an object that is hollow. And I can control the thick thickness too. If I find 0.1 uh, a little bit too thin, I can actually increase this to a quarter of an inch and click on OK. And there you go, I've created a vase very quickly in Autodesk Inventor using the loft command as well as the shell. Thanks for watching.